We're now joined by Mark Sloat. He is the director of Victoria Animal Services here to talk to us about what challenges they're facing right now. Welcome, Mark. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, it's great to see you. I know that you all have been under a considerable amount of stress over at Animal Services. Yeah, it's been uh, super stressful because we've had so many animals coming in and not a lot of returns. So uh, you know, we're just a lot of loose dogs running around Victoria and, and we either pick them up or people bring them to us and we only have so many kennels. Are y'all considering some educational uh, community engagement to help encourage pet owners to act more responsibly? I'm actually working with the city of Victoria on a project about messaging for loose dogs. Uh, it's it's in very early in the stages of working with them. Uh, met with several people from them. We do need to get the word out that you, you know, even if it's a house dog, you can't just open the door and let it run. Um, dogs don't know boundary lines. And quite often, you know, the more dog is let out, the further it'll ex explore as it, as it feels more comfortable. Especially in a hurricane prone area, that pet owner may be used to letting the dog out from when before the fence was there, but a lot of those fences have been damaged. Right, we've got damaged fences, we've got the Texas sun and heat, and, and right now we're in a drought period, so we've got we've had fire damage to some. Um, again, it's, it's one of those things where you really need to control your dog, you need to know where it is at all times. If you're letting it out in a fenced area, make sure that fence is good. We just had high winds come in this weekend, so there's, you know, some of those privacy fences, they might look good, but they'll tip over in a heartbeat, so it, it's something you need to check. And how many dogs have y'all euthanized or had to euthanize so far this year? Uh, I don't know the exact number offhand, but we're, we're at about 73% live outcome, which live outcomes are, you know, return to owners, um, adoptions, and placement through rescue. Uh, part of our problem here in Victoria is both our rescues that we partner with are full because they're helping us take in a lot of unwanted dogs that we don't have room for because we're picking up strays. So that, that makes it even harder. What does it feel like when you see a f you know, someone coming in t to foster a pet or, or even adopt a pet, what is that feeling like as, as director of animal services? It, it's good, you know, you, you like to, I wanna see, when, when I walk through the kennel and see 60 dogs and I would take any one of them home to my house, those are the ones, that's the, the days that are hard if we have to use an ice for space. So we've made pleas to the public and done some special adoption events and whatnot and the public's responded well. So we've, we've not had to kill for space, which is, it's been close a couple times. But you know, to see even the staff take joy in these dogs getting adopted. They, they all have, we all have our favorite dogs, so when they go, it's a bit of sadness they're not there anymore, but we're happy to have them in a permanent home. And if you see someone just operating routinely by letting their dog out without a leash, what can that person do? So they can call Victoria County Animal Services or email us and they can, they can give us the address where it's happening and about what time it's happening. And then we'll, we'll actually go there and talk to the people. We don't have to have the dog out at the time. Oh, wow. And we'll educate them on the city ordinance or, or the state law, wh wherever they are in the county or city. And usually about 50% of the time, we never hear from those people again. They, they, get, they get what we say and they understand it and they fix the situation. Well, let's go ahead and share your contact information for the Victoria Animal Services. So you can contact them at 361-578-3564. You can also email them. They don't always have operating hours or sometimes you, go, you guys are closed. So an email might be especially, oper especially strategic and helpful. <laughs> Animal Services at vctx.org is the email, and are you all still located at 122 Perimeter Road? For now, for hopefully for less than a year we'll be moving, that's our plan. Where are you all moving? Uh, it's on Profit Drive and uh, 513 Profit, it's the old Victoria Air Conditioning Building. Oh, is that over by the School District Admin Building? Yes. Oh, nice. More centrally located. More centrally located, and we'll be going from 30 kennels um, to about 80 and 16,000 square feet as opposed to 6,000. So it's quite a bit larger. We should have had probably 50 or 60 kennels for the last seven years at our average daily animal count or dog count specifically is about 54. Yeah, I was trying to imagine. So how many kennels are you fitting in one in one run? Or how many dogs are you fitting in one run, excuse me? <laughs> so, so we have indoor outdoor runs and because of our capacity issues and the five day stray hold, we, we split the runs. So some dogs just stay inside and some dogs just stay outside. And it's fine as long as it's not super hot or super cold. And uh, so last year, like when it got real cold, we put out a plea to get dogs out of the outside and, and the public stepped up and fostered. So about five to six dogs? Yeah, we can do two dogs per run 
one inside, one outside, unless they came in together or they're puppies. Yeah, oh yeah, puppies. Well, thank you so much for making the time and for everything you no. do. Well, we appreciate it. We just, we really want to get the word out that people need to not let their dogs run loose in Victoria. Don't let the dogs out. Don't let the dogs out. <laughs> unless you have a fence. Right. All right, well, coming up, don't go anywhere. We hear from a local newspaper columnist. We'll be right back.